The reason you have no self-respect ultimately comes down to the fact that you have not yet experienced the monomyth in complete form. The unified myth that plays out in all cultures, societies, tribes and kingdoms. But I am sure, as many of us have felt its calling in some form or way, the irritable scream of relief that lays coiled in your throat, the leaping desire for freedom from within your chest, those feelings of entrapment and willingness to break free, those are the ancestors, you could say, that are speaking it forth from within you, the thirst for rebirth. This is what Joseph Campbell called the hero's journey, the initiation into manhood, the great leap of faith into the trusted unknown, a myth that has presented itself time and time again in every culture thinkable. The mono-myth. This is a young man's first step towards individuation, which is also his primary death of boyhood and codependence to the rest of the world. In a modern world where there are no traditional sacred communities to aid initiation into manhood, one has to find the courage from within to spring the spirit into step. The disconnectedness and alienation of the modern world only encourages the man-child's cowardice to retreat further into his fantasies of reality. This is where the problem lies. So how does a young man actually actualize himself into the real world without a sacred community for initiation? The universal myth of the hero's journey is the self-actualized initiation into developing the self-respect and integrity in which the young man craves to have for himself, to defeat his demons and self-sabotaging deceits against his own soul and to bury them to where they belong, to be rebirthed in real time into a new light of his own being. Facing the ordeals and tribulations that arise from this journey into the unknown is what makes this transformation possible. The chaos is the alchemical ingredient for the individual to truly transform. The chaos of tribulation and ordeal is that which brings us back to our primordial soup, which in turn reignites the creation myth so that a new individual can be resurrected from the death of our past selves into a new awareness of our true potential and capabilities. Iliade puts it, quote, It is primarily these ordeals that constitute the religious experience of initiation, the encounter with the sacred. The unknown is itself the sacred, the transformative substance. Ancestral activation, or more commonly known as epigenetics, proves this also. This is the activation of unconscious mechanics that you have genetically inherited which bring new life into your personal experience via activation. This is only achieved by taking up the path of the monomyth, the hero's journey, that the cave you fear to enter holds all the treasures that you seek. And this is at its core what Mayorum society is all about, an initiation ground for young men to step into their own personal journey of transformation. We have created a system of coaches that aid towards disciplinary pillars that are fundamental to a young man's development. We put you through the process so that you independently self-actualize your own hero's journey through the support and advice from our coaching team. We give you the tools to find your own clarity towards consciousness. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, sign up down below for a free one-to-one -one coach discovery call with me and my team. With that said, I look forward to talking with you and to see you on the inside.